The Princess Bride, dude. The Princess Bride. What do you have to say about the Princess Bride? The old guy tells you right away that, you know, you don't need big special effect spectacular, all this stuff sometimes. Sometimes, you know, a good heartwarming tale is is fine, is what you need. I can't remember exactly what he said. <laughs> Uh, this was not, this was another fan pick, wasn't it? Uh, okay, but once again, I'm curious to see what they came up with. Um, I have a feeling that it's the kind of movie that catches a lot of people off guard. When you show it to people today, they don't really know what to make of it. I don't think you can make a movie like The Princess Bride today. You know, like The Breakfast Club. You couldn't make The Breakfast Club today. You can't make a teen movie like that today (laughs) Uh, but yeah let's see we're making the honest trailers that you voted for here's your number four choice what was the other three comes a satire of of all those sappy swashbuckling medieval love stories that happens to be the best sappy swashbuckling medieval love story ever made the princess bride Dive into the film that every kid is guaranteed Thank to you. love, with the title that every boy is guaranteed to hate, in this real movie about a made-up <laughs> book based on a real book about the same made-up book that the real movie is based on. <coughs> Wait, is that right? Gather round for a tale of epic like romance producers. that kicks off a young boy's puberty. Is this a kissing book? <laughs> no, it's kissing again. You don't want to hear that. I don't mind so much. As the world's grampiest grandpa reads you a story full of beautiful (laughs) heroes, dashing rogues, and cunning villains, who probably sound a lot less impressive when their words are coming out of Peter Falk's mouth. Wesley and I are joined by the bonds of love. That's just true love. You think this happens every day? I never thought of that. Cuddle up for a story about the power of true love between Wesley, the farm boy turned pirate, and Buttercup, the farm owning orphan turned princess. Fetch me that picture. Oh shit! Must have been really good. (laughs) Yep, looks like true love to me. But there's more yeah, than just romance. That's all Prepare need. for plenty of action to go around. Really, really polite action. I did that on purpose. <laughs> I don't have to miss. You'll put down your rock and I'll put down my sword. I would have a fantasy like expectation of love. People. Where no danger is too oh, shit, great that, that you can't carry part. on a polite conversation. You are wonderful. Thank you. I've worked hard to become so. <laughs> and no enemy is too vile that you can't have a nice chat while they're trying to kill you. Lies do not become us. Well spoken, sir. That you probably never saw in theaters, but rewatched on VHS so many times that you can Makes quote every laugh. line. That not just late. because it's great, but because every character repeats their little catchphrase like a hundred times. As you wish. Inconceivable! Hello. My name is Jim Montoya. That's the best you one. My Prepare to die. Starring Zorro, Pirate's Booty. Hi, my name is what? My name is who? My name is Tiki Tiki and Ego Montoya. Obey, Danny Davidish. Small tiki. wonder, his fingers go to 11. Crappy sets, cheesy music. And obvious stunt doubles. But come on, who cares? This movie's amazing. Adventure time. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't they make satirical fairy tales anymore with romance and action and jokes and a big giant guy? <laughs> oh, right. Be sure to subscribe for more honest trailers. Thanks to fans Anthony M. Grace it's also kind of like Tiffany meatballs, you know, it's this, this great and classic. And awesomeness of Fan Appreciation Month. We it's like if you show it to someone today. Need more? Click the box on the left to it, watch the fifth place awkward fan choice on the trailer. Bill and Ted's like, no, Excellent it gets Adventure. Good. Just wait. And click the box on the right to enjoy an interview I with J.A. Bayona, director funny. of A Monster Calls, and the happen? upcoming Meanwhile, Jurassic there, World 2, as he reveals how he made Liam Neeson into a monster tree. Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? Why you stuck up, half-witted, scrubby-looking oh, nerve nice. herder? Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Inconceivable. 
Hello, Good morning. my name is Good Inigo morning. Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. To Have fun storming the castle. Good morning. To you. Family Guy kind of made a joke about that. I think it was Peter Griffin showing Chris an episode of... Not an episode, he was showing him meatballs. Or maybe it was some other Bill Murray movie. There are a couple examples with Bill Murray. Stripes? I love John Candy. <laughs> Just talking about good movies. Yeah. I think you can watch an honest trailer about a movie and still appreciate a movie, obviously. They walked a fine line. They didn't really give this movie too much shit. It's kind of like stuff I feel like people are already aware of. I felt like they went easier on The Princess Bride than they did... Uh, Empire. They made a good point about the title. <laughs> I saw this HBO documentary, Army Guy and Another Army Guy. Uh, I don't know. One guy was quoting The Princess Bride. He was like, you ever watched that movie, Princess Bride? The guy was like, no. He's like, yeah, you got it. It's a classic. Where's that from? Put it in the comments. I don't even know if it's HBO. So, you have nothing to go on. <laughs> Shit. Anyways, this was funny. 